What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. Last time we defeated the second gym here in the Hoenn region and that was the Doofer gym after having beat the first gym in the episode before that. So two gyms in a row and we still haven't lost any Pokemon. We've got a full team of six now with Ponyo being the newest addition, but actually not really because we also have a tentacle sitting in the PC. So because we have not lost anyone yet, I've actually decided, you know, we're going to go to some new routes in just a little bit here. So I actually want to deposit some of the Pokemon that I don't think I'm going to be using at all in the upcoming gym. So first off is the fact that the next gym is going to be an electric type one, meaning that Finch and Parker will probably be useless there, might die in one shot. I don't know, but we're going to keep them in the party just because they've been the one that I've actually been using. However, Ponyo, Beats, and Banzai have not been used at all. And Banzai, though I could use Puchiena, uh, it's way too low level. So we're just going to keep Finch, Parker, and Kung Pao for now and see where we go from there. Anyway, before we head off to Slateport City, which is actually the next place that we got to go to, ahoy, for you, I'll go out to sea anytime. As you can see now, we can go there, but there is something pretty cool that we can do if we head back to Rustboro City, so we're going to set sail for the Grand Line in search of One Piece, the treasure that will make our dreams come true. Except... By that, I mean we're going to go get the EXP share because that's going to be a really good item for training up new Pokemon that we catch um, and then they can actually be useful. So, like I said, the next gym is going to be electric type, meaning that Finch and Parker will be pretty useless. I'm going to mainly focus up on training Kung Pao, but for now, we're going to head back to Rustboro. Hey, look, Roxanne is calling us. Hello, Orange. This is Roxanne of Rustboro. I heard from Brawly that you're moving up through the ranks of trainers at an incredible clip. While I'd rather not think that I can't beat you, I promise I will shape up myself and my gym so that you may challenge me again. I mean, my gym. I hope you'll be looking forward to that occasion as much as me. Ooh. We are getting them digits. And now back in Rustboro City, where we're going to go is actually the Devon Corporation, because if you guys remember, the whole reason we went to Duford City in the first place, aside from taking on the gym there, was actually to get the letter from Steven. Now that we've got that letter, we can deliver it back to his daddy, Mr. Stone, who I a lot of times seem to forget that that's his dad. Hey, what are you doing here, man? I've visited the shipyard in Slateport. You should go see Captain Stern. That's great. A random guy in a completely unrelated city tells you where you're supposed to go next. That's actually the next place we have to go to to activate the next story event. But anyway, Mr. Stone, you delivered my letter. Thank you kindly. This is my way of thanking you. And he is going to give us the EXP share, like I said. So when we catch new Pokemon, we will give them that and then they'll be able to level up without necessarily having to get in the way of dying, which is, you know, it hasn't happened yet, but it can happen. And I'm sure that it will happen because I've been mentioning almost every episode how this is too easy. So I have a feeling that when it does come, we're going to lose a lot of Pokemon. It is not going to go well. I thought I had Fly, but we don't get that until way later on. But yeah, this EXP share, optional thing you can do. It's actually very easy to miss and not get it until way later on. So definitely grab that. And now we'll head back to wherever city we're going. Whoa, what sort of sorcery is this? You can go into one Pokemon Center and end up in another. How do you do that? Now we're going to choose Slateport City, though, which is the new town that we're heading to in order to do the next thing in the story and the uh, Bori and Dory. We found Nemo. Look, he, we just ran over him with our boat. It's kind of sad. There's it's a kind of gruesome story anyway. I don't know what I'm talking about. So here we are. We have made it to Slateport. If suppose if you're going to visit Captain Stern and deliver the Devon goods. Yeah, I guess we got more Devon goods. I don't know. We gave Steven the letter and somehow ended up getting more stuff to deliver in return. So I was not even aware of this. I'm also not aware of the fact of the trainers that are here. There's actually three of them. I thought that that little boy was going to come up to us, but I'm assuming now he's going to come up once we beat these two. So we're going to have, uh, I guess, three battles in a row. And Finch and Parker are up first, which is the two Pokemon that I should not be training right now. Awesome. I guess we'll keep training up Parker, or sorry, Finch. But I don't know about Parker's utility from here on out exactly. Um, did Combuskin just get hit by a water gun and it did absolutely nothing? That is pretty sad. Finch is going to learn Double Team though, which I guess we'll get that. Growl I, isn't really that helpful. I like Tail Whip, but I just don't like the move Growl because... I don't know, lowering the enemy's attack is just kind of stally. Lowering their defense, though, can make you hit harder, so... 
I, I guess it ends up saving you some time if you use it properly. And, uh, oh, okay, I thought Finch was also learning Gust. I was like, two levels? No way. Parker is gonna be learning Gust here. Honestly, completely useless as far as the next gym goes, because it's electric type. And I'm pretty sure that his ace Pokemon, Watson, I'm talking about. You'll, you'll meet Watson eventually. I'm pretty sure his ace Pokemon is Magneton. So I guess Combuskin won't be too bad for that gym at all. Um, at least for taking on his ace. And then everyone else, I don't really know, but Finch and Parker, it's kind of a death trap for them. And yep, like I said, we're gonna have a third battle. I'm thirsty, I could go for a Sodi Pop. You know, if you're thirsty, man, I got this great website for you. It's called Twitter. You can satisfy your thirst all you want. I mean, you could also have a soda, but soda tends to give me more thirst than take it away. I mean, I guess it depends on what kind of soda you have, but you know what? A lot of times they advertise Sprite as being able to satisfy your thirst, at least the commercials that I've watched of Sprite. I mean, I haven't really watched commercials in a long, long time just because I don't watch TV anymore, uh, but they always advertise Sprite commercials as like, satisfy your thirst or something like that. I've laid anchor in ports around the world, but Slate Port's the best. It's because it has a nice beach, man. Look at this. This guy can come here, show off his sweet pecs, his nice hat. This guy is awesome, man. Halloween is coming up. I like your costume. Little sailor costume. Maybe that's what I'll go as for Halloween. I actually haven't even thought about it. Because, I don't know, I think they actually are doing trick-or-treating in this neighborhood. But, you know, I'm a little bit too old, I think. But, you know, I, I, I could probably pass off and do some trick-or-treating. Get some free candy, you know. So I gotta think of what costume I want to have. Maybe I could go as a nice sailor. I don't know, is that what- I don't think kids really dress up as sailors. When I was a kid, let me think. Uh, I had a lot of Halloween costumes, but I'm pretty sure at least four years in a row throughout, like, the beginning of middle school and, like, the ending of elementary school, I went as a ninja. Just because I like ninjas so much. I don't know why the heck, but pretty sure I went as a ninja for, like, four years in a row. Uh, but what I was saying was that I don't even remember anymore. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter though. What are you guys gonna go as Halloween? Those of you that go trick-or-treating and are young enough or whatever, or those of you that are older, if you have like a Halloween party or something, because that's what I did last year. We threw a Halloween party and it was pretty rad. I don't think we're really gonna do one this year though, but you never know, man. You never know what could end up happening because anything can happen. And I think that's, is that Ellie Goulding? I, I, don't, I don't even know who that is, but uh, whether you are or aren't, whatever you're gonna do, even, or I guess if you don't celebrate it, then it doesn't matter, but if you do, and if you do something for Halloween, let me know what you're gonna go as, what's, what's your great, awesome costume idea, because I always love seeing costumes, sometimes people even do, like, Pokemon costumes, which, I don't know, when do you draw the line between a costume and a cosplay, because isn't costume just, like, a portmanteau of, like, costume and roleplay, so it's like cosplay, it's like you're supposed to roleplay the character while dressing up as it. So I guess there isn't really a line drawn, it's just like if you're in a Halloween costume and you pretend to be your character that you're dressed at, then it becomes cosplay, so I don't know. You could, you could uh, costume yourself as your cosplay. I don't know, man. That's up to you. Imagination is endless. Yo, trainers, whether you're hot to trot or cool cat not, what are you saying? What the heck is this? It's like a rap. Yo, trainer, whether you're hot to try or cool cat, nah, chill as my papa's spot. Yeah. That's it. Drop a beat. May hot battles rage on hot sands. Th what is up with this, man? Everything is about hot trainers in here. I don't know if I'm very hot. I mean, I'm just kind of a kid with a backpack and a bandana. I mean, what do you think of me, green-haired girl? What do you think of uh, what I'm doing? You don't no longer have green hair. I... Don't know what I expected. I forgot that in these games, this overworld sprites never make any sense because they use the same overworld sprite for like five different trainer classes. So this girl here, look at her hair here. And then when we get to overworld, bada bing, bada boom, suddenly white dress and green hair. I don't think there even is a trainer with this kind of look like in battle so i don't know why they made that the sprite they could have just made it a blonde lady i have no idea man at least these little tubers keep it up you know brown hair yellow tube right that's exactly what he's gonna have in the sprite and well actually he's got the yellow tube but he's got blue hair i thought for a second he might have uh, a blue tube because that's what i'm used to bluetooth blue tube that's kind of cool never noticed those were similar maybe because why the heck would you ever need to say blue tube in uh, unless like YouTube, you know, YouTube's feeling blue. Maybe one day they'll go blue tube. I don't know. 
But, uh, yeah. All these trainer sprites, man, kind of different. I mean, this guy's pretty similar, but I guess it's just because it's a sailor. It's like, can't really do much with that. But for ladies and tuber boys and, uh, machops, uh, there's, there's a lot more you can do. Not, not really. But yeah, I guess just, like... I think they use the same sprite for a lot of different trainers, is what I'm trying to say. So, if we see this green hair girl later on, we'll see what kind of sprite she has in game. Anyway, this is Papa. You're scorching hot. Those battles blaze. I'm more than just satisfied. As thanks for showing me your hot streak. I want you to take these. It's a half dozen bottle of soda poppin'. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. Just a half dozen though, not the full one. Because that would be way too much, man. You can't just give away free soda. But this actually heals up your Pokemon. Might as well use one right now. How do you like that, Kung Pao? How's that soda popping Kung Pao? That would kind of be bad. A, a Kung Pao chicken flavored soda? I don't know, man. There's some pretty strange soda flavors. That does not seem that far-fetched. Anyway, we have made it to Slate Fort City, the city of slates and the city of ports. The light of the lighthouse reaches dozens of miles away. This lighthouse does not look that big, man. I don't know how it could reach dozens of miles away, much less one mile. Look at this thing. We can literally run circles around it in like seconds. When I was a kid, I didn't understand what this was because I guess I don't remember talking to this guy, but it's, this is supposed to be a lighthouse. So proportions in this game, not exactly the best, but you know, it's cool, so I'm very excited to see what that will look like in the remakes, considering that even just in the next generation in Heart Gold Soul Silver, when you went to Olivine City and you saw the lighthouse there, that thing was massive and it looked awesome. So, here you can actually buy uh, some accessories and things for your secret base. I don't think we actually have a secret base yet, so we can't really do much. This guy will sell you some vitamins. If you're feeling sick, if you're feeling down, go buy some vitamins and then don't frown. I tried to rhyme, I guess I did, but it's okay, because I'm just a bid. I don't know, I, I suck. See, every time I try to rhyme, it's like the first sentence will be okay, and then you get to the second one, and it's like, nope, I don't even know, man. Okay, there's someone here that gives us a TM for secret power. Where the heck is it? Can you please give me it? No, I don't care. I did, I knew that. Please stop. Powder jar, that's not what I wanted. I want, I want secret power, man. I don't think it's this girl. I know that the other guy mentioned it, so I'll go talk to him again and actually read what he said. Do you know the TM Secret Power? Our group, we love TM Secret Power. One of our members will give it to you. Come back and show me if you get it. Uh, I talked to everyone here, and no one gave it to me, unless it was you and I didn't talk to you. I talked to everyone else, so... I don't know. He said one of the members of our group. I don't know what exactly his group is, but... Uh, I guess we shouldn't really worry about it. Well, how about you, Grandma? How you doing? Great. That's great to know. So, as you can see here, we got a nice piling of Team Aqua Grunts lining up to visit the beautiful museum. Quit pushing this line. They really love the ocean. So we're just gonna get right in here and wait for the line to go. Any second now. Why are these guys looking over there? All I see is a brush. A shrub? Why do I see a brush? Is this, is this line even moving? Like, when, when do we get in? When do we get to the ride? This is the ride! Oh, he's gonna read the sign for us. I think it says something like this. The life in the sea is endless. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Awesome, man. I don't think he can read, but to actually get rid of this line here, we don't just have to stand in it. We just gotta go visit good old Captain Stern, just like that random guy in... The Devon Corporation building told us this here is him. Then where does this thing go? What about this doohickey? Oh, I can't make heads or tails of this. So I'm just gonna have the coin land exactly on its side and then it's a draw. You guys ever had that happen? It never happened to me, but I definitely saw a video of it where someone flipped a coin and it literally landed on its side. Like it was neither heads or tails. It literally landed perfectly on the side. And I'm just thinking, there must be some kind of magnet or something down there because that there's no way, man. Hi, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to design a ferry. Oh, that there. Are they Devon Goods? Uh, this won't do. Captain Stern went off somewhere. He said he had some work to do. Could I get you go to vote if we'll find him? I guess this is not Captain Stern. I always thought it was, but I guess it isn't. I don't think there's anything else of importance in here, so we're just gonna head right out and go check out Captain Stern, who is back at the museum that we just saw was overrun by Team Aqua Grunts, and we gotta go save him because them freaky fish lovers about to kill him. 
Bro, okay, that is not what it said at all. The endless sea sustains all life. The guy said that the sea has endless life or something like that. I don't know, but before we go over there, we can actually catch ourselves a Pokemon up here on Route 110. And I wanted to catch something new because last time was kind of disappointing. We got a Zubat and a Tentacool. So we should definitely get something better in this route. Let's find out what we get. It is. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you for realing my for real, man? I was literally thinking, what if it's just another Poochiena? And look at that. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Another freaking... I swear. I swear. All right. We're going to get ourselves a Gulpin. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but... I guess it's not bad. Uh, I definitely don't want to kill this guy, though, so we're going to go in for Parker. Parker, you are going to, I guess, absorb him. That's going to do, like, zero damage. Yup. That literally did nothing. I guess we can go for Gust. Well, we're level 13, so we're definitely not going to kick. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It's like critical hit. Come on, man. There's... Can't do that. Parker's actually poison. This guy is doing a lot. Got to think of a name for this guy. Actually, I already have a name in mind. Might be a little bit mean, but kind of looks like him especially when he evolves so there we go caught ourselves our next team member or rather the next guy to join our party i don't really know if he's gonna stick around or if he's even gonna be able to but this is going to be jabba the gulpin i hope that i spell that right because i'm not really sure i don't think jabba does jabba the hut even have a gender now that i think about it i don't know parker how much hp do you got 27, that's fine. You'll make it fine. It's cool. It's okay. It's it's totally cool. 27 steps, that's way more than enough. But I think I might actually put the EXP share on Jabba. Start leveling him up. I've never actually used a Swallow before, so it might be interesting. You know, a new Pokemon, I don't know how he'll do, especially against the Electric Gym coming up because I don't think spo Poison does anything to Steel-type, so it won't be able to help out against um, Magneton, but... Then again, like I said, Combuskin is going to be our main damage dealer there against the Magneton. So, I don't know, man. Let's just hope for the best. Actually, we also have a Silk Scarf here, if I can say that properly. Let's give that to Finch, and what else? We got Soft Sand. We don't have any Ground-type Pokemon, though. Unless Gulpin can maybe learn Dig, then it'll be good against that Electric Gym. Uh, Miracle Seed. Do we even have a Grass-type? We have Parker with Absorb, so I guess he could use that. But anyway... Let's go ahead into the museum now and take on Team Aqua, the final thing that we'll do in this episode. There's actually quite a lot of them here uh, to take on, so we'll definitely be able to gain some good levels. What's up, man? Aye! Uh, aye? Aye! I don't know what he's saying. What are you doing here? Me? I'm the Team Aqua member. You thumped before, remember? Back in Rust Turf Tunnel? Here, take this! You have to forgive me! And just like that, we're gonna get ourselves a TM. I don't know what it is. But he's actually not even going to tell us. He's just going to run away. Are you serious, man? He is that scared of us. All right. So it is Thief. Awesome. It's like taking candy from a baby. That's what Team Aqua thought. But then they realize that I'm not a baby. I'm a full grown boy. And soon enough, I'll be a man. And then things will get kind of awkward. I don't know. Anyway, here is the actual Captain Stern. Yes, if you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Those must be the parts I ordered for Mr. Stone of Devon. Thank you, that's great. We can prepare for our expedition now. But like anything, of course we're gonna get interrupted. We'll take those parts! What, what? Who are you people? We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants those parts. Shut your yap and fork them over. Shut your yap and fork them over. Two words that I didn't think would be in the same sentence. Yap and fork. But, you know, somehow Team Aqua managed to do it. Uh, and we're actually going to start seeing some pretty cool Pokemon now, though. Carvana for them. Not just Poochienas forever and ever, which is usually what they have. Actually, this is not that good for us. I've been saying actually a lot again. It's weird. I always seem to go back to that trend. It's like, there will be this one word that I say for a while, then I'll forget about it. And then eventually it'll just come back, which is usually, actually, or usually, probably just words that end with L-Y. Like usually, and probably, and possibly, and uh, what other ones? Actually, I don't know what other ones there are. All right, but we got another Team Aqua Grunt, and I think we might actually meet Archie for the first time, as I say actually again. See that? I don't even think about it, but I don't really mind. This guy's going to have two Pokemon, though. <gasps> no! You've stolen Ponyo from us! We deposited him into the PC, and now we find that his fate is with a Team Aqua Grunt. This is not possible. How could you do this from us? 
I know who it was. It was that guy! He gave us the TM for Thief. It was all a premonition, and now Ponyo's dead. That sucks. Another Carvana, though. This thing should go down really easily with a double kick. Being half Dark type, you know, it's cool and all, but makes you kind of die pretty easily, doesn't it? Mr. Carvana, with your rough skin, do you want some nice uh, cream maybe to soften your skin? I've been using some to try and fix mine, but I guess my, I don't know what you call it, but it hasn't really been working out, so I'm not sure if it'll work out for you, Carvana. You also, your face has to be dry, so I don't know if your face is dry, considering you're a fish. I think fish have pretty dry faces, except that they're in the water all the time, so. I came to see what was taking so long to snatch some parts, and you simps are held up by a mere child. We are Team Aqua, and we love the sea, and I am Team Aqua's leader, Archie. What makes you interfere with us? No, he can't be. You're not one of Team Magma. Wait, that can't be right. You're not dressed for the part. Our Pokemon people, our life depends on the sea. So Team Aqua is dedicated to see the expansion of the Z. Don't you agree? Why do you keep saying that? He keeps saying the same. This is the sea, don't you agree? What we're doing is magnificent. Ah, fine. You're still too young to understand our noble objective. But I warn ye, don't even consider interfering with our plans again. The consequences will never be the same, and don't you forget it. You are. Ah, okay, you're orange. Anyway, that was a tense situation. Thank you for saving us. Or just you, because I was totally fine. I could have just left you, actually. Like, I didn't need to save you, so I appreciate you saying thank you and everything. Oh, yes, I almost forgot that you even brought the parts from Devin. Wonder what exactly these are. I have no idea. Maybe he'll tell us. We have to set out our ocean floor expedition really soon. Thanks again, but I gotta go. Really? No reward, man? Just gonna heal up our Pokemon and that's it? That's no reward for the guy that just saved your butt. Hey, look at this thing. The SSN. Didn't this thing, like, sink at the bottom of the ocean or something? I don't know. Maybe that was something else. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. Here is a little premonition of what is to come in the future. But the very far future, because that's, yeah, that's not coming for a while. But what is coming in the near future is Scott, as he's here, right in our face, right now. I'm sure I met you somewhere before. Have I introduced myself? Is not my name's Scott. We actually did introduce ourselves because we randomly, or we happened to encounter you in the Pokemon Trainer School. But now we're going to get his number two, Scott Person. I don't know if that's his last name. Or if he's just saying, you know, he, he's a person and his name is Scott. Probably the latter. Anyway, that is going to be it, guys. So next time, we will head onward to Route 1 to 10 and finally take on that dreaded rival battle that I've been talking about for so many episodes. I didn't even know that Professor Bird showed up here. Hey, John Tron, imagine seeing you here and where it might maybe. Maybe? Maybe. <laughs> where might maybe? I don't know, that sentence doesn't really make sense, does it? Well, that's fine. I heard that you're poking up. Really, we're gonna get another number? Man, we are just getting everyone's number today. If only that was the way that it was in real life. You know, I'd, I'd be getting quite a few numbers. Then I'd have some people to talk to. And not be lonely every night. Crying myself to sleep. See you guys next time.